You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. <laughs> My love, the gods accepted our sacrifice. Yes, they have. <sighs> we will not call out our daughter to come and show us the man who is after her heart. There will be no need for that. What's going on? Get up! Are you? Oh no! What is the problem? No problem at all. Eh? Uh, we will, I will send message across. Eh? No problem. the process of marrying an outcast, but it will never happen. It wouldn't happen not even when I have joined my ancestors. It would never happen. Father, all those things are in the past now. There is nothing like anyone being an outcast in this present generation. Hey. So why did you not stop them when they were offering all those sacrifices to their gods? Because it is a thing of the past. Now you are standing before me, your father, the king of Umarchi Kingdom, and telling me it is a thing of the past. Eh? Now listen, Nandi. I would not allow any Osu of any kind to enter into my family. Not talk of the blood of an Osu running in the veins of my generations. I will not. And you, I do not want to see that girl anywhere around this palace again. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. I've always known you never wanted me to get married to that girl. You have kicked against it from the first day. But you know what, Father? I am going to marry her. Outcast or no outcast?
Namde. Try me. Try me. You shouldn't have talked to your father the way you just did. Eh? And as for that girl, you're not going to marry her. You don't just get it, mother. I'm going to marry her. You will not. Nothing will happen, mother. You will marry not. her. What is all this? is your husband, he will come back to you. There's no need crying out your eyes before it will happen. Please. Ujumwa, stop crying. I must find out what went wrong. Besides, they promised to put message across on when they will come to finalize the marriage right. So all is well. Okay? But the way they left, I don't think they're coming back. I don't think they're coming back. Sophia, they must surely come back. It's okay. Go I want to go. Let me be going, okay? It's already getting late. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. It's okay. Eh? Please now. Please. Mudo, mudo. Hey. The joke, no. I'm here because you are one of the cabinet members. And also my father's favorite kingsman. So on that regard, I have come here to plead with you. Help beg my father to allow Prince Nnamdi marry the girl of his choice before this thing turns to a problem. Please say, Buka, my son. The girl in question, she's an outcast. Osu, this tradition has been there since our forefathers. And they can never change in our time. But the choke, Laura. Huh? Most of our neighboring communities have abolished this Osu outcast system. It's a cake. For Christ's sake, we're in the 21st century. And there should be a way around us. Prince, my son, there's an adage that says, What an old man see sitting. A child can never see it, even though he climb a miracle tree. With time, you understand. Anybody home? Anybody home? Anybody home? Who is that? Good afternoon, my lady. Good afternoon. Please, the king requests your presence immediately at the palace. My mother is not at home. You can go. When, when she's back, I'll, I'll come to the palace. No. No one keeps the king of Umuachi waiting. Please, you have to come with me immediately.
I sent for you because I want to tell you that my son, Namde, the prince of Umaji kingdom, will never marry an outcast. I want to clearly warn you to stay away from my son because I will not tolerate your sight with my son again. The blood of a royal man can never mix with that of an outcast. Till the world ends. My family will have nothing to do with you, will not dine or walk with you again because it is an abomination. Now leave this palace and never, never come back again. crying because he called you an outcast or because he asked you to stay away from his son and then I love Namdi He's the only man my heart can ever accept. It's okay. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. See, if both of you are meant for each other, he will come looking for you. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying, mom. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? Oh? Because they are not because. It's okay. And um, it's okay. Who are you talking about? I don't have any money, but I have it. 
thank the God so that who know who went with the royal family to the place of their supposed bride. Otherwise, they would have made a mistake of their lifetime. And this would have brought cost on this village. Each year, for the fact they have stepped their foot into that community, they have committed sacrilege and need cleansing. A big cleansing, no? Total cleansing. You see, how do you relate it? The royal blood and that outcast blood. Where are the khakis? Sorry, my prince. The king gave me an order not to give you any khaki. If I allow you to go out without any guard. But my prince, I'm sorry you can't leave. If you don't get out of this gate now, you'll regret working in this place. Get out! read this in history books. I've heard stories about it, but I don't believe things like this still exist. Well, it does. And here you are looking at one. I am an Osu. And frankly, growing up, I I didn't care what people thought about it, just like you. It didn't matter to me. But now it does. Now, now that it's at the verge of costing me my happiness, it does. I mean, you would think that with the middle ritual that Everything will be all right, but no. You are royalty. And so no, no amount of blood cleansing, blood cleansing or passage rights qualifies a commoner like me to be your wife. The truth is, actually, I don't care what anybody thinks. What matters to me is that I love you. Whatever they feel or think about you and your condition is absolutely none of my business. Yes. Your father will have my neck. I can never be part of your family. In his words, nothing will ever make the blood of a commoner mix with royalty. My father said that to you? Why did you keep this away from me? Why? But how could you? How could you say that to that girl? How could you shut up? That was a huge embarrassment. I you said shut up! Nam. I...
day, my king. Good day, good day my young lady. Welcome, welcome, my dear. Elias, my good friend. Good day, my king. Welcome to my kingdom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my king, you have a great palace mm. and a beautiful kingdom. You know what? Back in the UK, this kind of a place belonged to the bourgeoisies. Ah. I'm amazed and flabbergasted. <laughs> welcome, my dear. Welcome, welcome. And uh, Ifoma? Yes, 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 sir. yes. Good afternoon, sir. The last time I saw her, she was just barely six months. That was the day I dropped off her mother at Heathrow Airport. All exactly. right, all right. Now look at her. She's a big girl. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> And uh, Prince Ebuka, sir. Ebuka, wow! Look at him, big boy with beers, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome to the party. I am flabbergasted. And uh, where is Namdi? Oh, Namdi. Namdi, Namdi is up. Is upstairs. He, he yeah, just he's drove upstairs. in now. Really? He just drove in. Yeah. That's great. He just drove in. And your daughter is not looking bad at all. <laughs> really? <laughs> you can say that again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> welcome, come, come. Come inside my dear. Okay. <laughs> wow. Come, welcome. Welcome. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. My king. Yeah. My daughter here graduated last year from Kent University. Oh. And she hasn't been to Nigeria since she lost her mother. That's my wife. Okay. Um, so she'll be staying with you people for some time before coming back to UK, just as discussed. I understand. I understand everything. And I thank you immensely for bringing her. Mm. You see, it, it is not an easy thing with two children as a widower, especially somebody like you who is a pilot. And uh, I have been looking for uh, that avenue to reciprocate all your good gestures to my family. You sheltered and took care of my wife, the Queen, in the UK when she gave birth to my Prince Ebuka. You also did the same when she gave birth to my princess here. You see, this palace and this home is your second place. Uh, my dear, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much, my king. And Elias, I am assuring you that she will like it here. You're welcome, my dear. You're like a daughter to us. So, feel at home. Trust me, you're going to enjoy this place. I'm doing that already. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um... You asked Mr. Elias to bring her daughter to the palace to live with us. And you didn't deem it fit to let me go. Um, Lolo, I'm sorry about that. But yes, I asked him to bring Vivian to stay with us. Because I need her around our son, the prince. At least she will make him forget the outcast. Yes. The moment I saw Vivian, I knew you had a plan. I have a plan. And that plan is in the interest of the whole family. Vivian is a very beautiful girl. She is intelligent. She is smart. And moreover, she is the daughter of my personal good friend. And that is the kind of girl I want my sons to marry. I'm scared in them they might not like her. He has no choice. Yeah, I'm so happy to have you around this palace. It's always me and my mother. And you know it's not everything I can discuss with her. I know. For you, your brother, he's not happy. Yeah, you're right. That's not the way. Just 
just that he has been passing through a lot emotionally. Emotionally? Yeah, emotionally. What happened? <sighs> There's this lady that he's in love with and he wants to marry her. But she's an outcast. So my father told him not to marry her and never to see him with her ever again. So the whole thing is really eating him up. Outcast. What's that? My dear, just leave the African story. Meanwhile, you're looking good. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very you much, Auntie Vivian. You're welcome. But next time, don't bow to me. But the Queen said we should treat you as royalty. But I'm not royalty. We know. And we don't want to lose our job. That is why we must obey the Queen. Son, Dad, hope you are having a good time. Yes, I am. <laughs> I, 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 I want you to just take a good look at Vivian. She's a beautiful girl. And she can make a good wife to you, you know. Dad, I cannot see her. The only one I know is Ujungwa. And she's the one my eyes can see. Nandi, I forbid you to mention that name before me. Just look at that girl, Vivian. She is the one you will marry. And that is final. How will you? He doesn't like me. 
I'm not welcomed here. 